Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I told you to configure the Tyco Alpha 4 RPC. Yes, we've been on this journey of Tyco testnet. We have done the Alpha 1, Alpha 2, and Alpha 3. Just in case you are new to Tyco, you can check it all out in my channel. When we started with Alpha 1, we moved to Alpha 2 right here, and we also moved to Alpha 3. So we have been on this journey ever since. I hope that this is going to be very rewarding. Tyco has been able to raise $22 million and right now we are heading straight into the Alpha 4. So if this is your first time of hearing about Tyco, then you can go ahead and watch our previous videos and get yourself set up. Okay. Now for those of you that have done Alpha 1, Alpha 2 and Alpha 3, make sure you also do Alpha 4 and that is the reason I'm making this video today. Let's get it done together. Okay, what we're going to do is very simple. First, if you're new to Tyco, you need to connect to Sepola. That is if you don't have it already in your Metamax, but Sepola is supposed to be there automatically. But then you can go ahead and click on connect to Sepola and your Metamax is going to pop up for you to connect that. Then we have the Tyco Greens voting, which is the Tyco Alpha 3. If you did Tyco Alpha 3, it means you already have the Greens voting LPC added to your Metamax. This is the one you need to add for Tyco Alpha 4. This is Tyco Eatfell L3. So when you just click on connect to Eatfell, your Metamax pops up. You go ahead and add it up automatically. Otherwise, you can do it manually by copying out the chain ID, the RPC, the symbol, and the block explorer. Everything is right here, but I prefer to add automatically now let's say you have added everything successfully so the next thing we have to do is to go and use the bridge <laughs> and before we go ahead to interact proper i want to ask you this question have you signed up with bybit yet if not kindly use the link in the description to sign up right now and there is a campaign currently going on if you participate and do all the needful you may be up to win a lamborghini or a rolex watch and also there is eight million dollars up for grabs everyone that's going to participate can end from this pool of eight million dollars yes so use the link in the description to sign up right now and if you already have an account there is also a link in the description for you to sign up for this campaign okay also we have been updating and improving on our application train to crypto if you take a look you will see that we have updated so many projects right here you will see that we have been working on the user interface the last time i showed you this was not the way our user interface was looking so now we have been able to work on it to even make it better for you so let's say for example you want to go to interactions you just click on this it takes you straight to all the applications you need to interact on you want the networks it takes you straight right there you want the bridge or bridges it takes you straight right there the rpc and so on and so forth okay so we have been able to simplify it for you again just to make it more user friendly and comfortable for you so please continue coming to this application and keep using it on a daily basis also share it out there with your friends okay let's go back to Tyco right now here's the Tyco bridge application the first thing we have to do is to connect our wallet Metamax of course nest and connect then we have to select the network we are going to use. So now we don't have any funds in the EAT4. We need to move some funds from Green's Vaulting Network into the EAT4. So we click on Green's Vaulting. We switch over. Okay, successfully switched chain. We have some EAT here. We need to move some into the EAT4. Type in any amount of your choice. I'll just go for 0 0.02 and then I'll click on Bridge. Confirming your Metamax. Transaction sent to Bridge your funds. So it is pending. We have to wait for it to go through. That was successful. Another thing you can do is to bridge some other tokens into the Edfell networks. We have beer and we have horse. You can decide to bridge them into this network. All right. The next thing we can do is to swap some tokens on the Edfell network. So we head to the swap application, which is this right here. We click on connect to Tyco network, switch network to Edfell, nest and connect. Okay. Now we are connected and this is Tyco Alpha 4 testnet, we are on the Ether network. What we have to do is to select a token that we want to swap some Ether into. So click here, and we have Bill, we have House, we have double TKEO, which is the Tyco token, and we're going to be swapping some Ether into this Tyco token. Click on it, 
and type in any amount you want. For me, I'll be going for 0 0.0001 and I'll click swap and then confirm swap. Confirming your Metamax again. Transaction is pending. You have to wait for it to go through. That is successful. We go ahead and close this. Now we have some balance right here. The next thing we need to do is to deploy a contract on the Tyco Alpha 4 testnet. So we head straight to this application. In some of my previous videos, I showed you how to use this application to deploy a contract. So we're going to be doing that once more. Now you need to give this a name of your choice. I will just simply go for Crypto Prince 100K and you need to add your symbol, which for me is CP1. Okay, and next you need to pre mint the amount of tokens you want. That is to say your total supply. Are we going for 10,000 Crypto Prince token? You can do as much as you want, it depends on you. Okay, having done that, the next thing we have to do is to head straight to open in Remix. Click on this. This is remix.ethereum.org, and here is where you're going to deploy your contract proper so you have to accept this now that you're here you need to go back to your wallet and switch over from it network straight to grims vaulting network we are good and the next thing you want to do is to compile solidity so click on this button right here next you click on compile contract that is compiled successfully the next thing is to deploy and run transactions click on this also you need to change the environment from remix vm to injected provider which is on metamask so click on it and your metamask pops up for you to confirm or connect to that environment okay we have connected successfully and we are very much good to go right now these are contracts right here crypto prince 100k next we click on deploy down here it says creation of crypto prince 100k pending that is our token now we need to confirm it in our metamask so do that the transaction is still pending we wait for it to go through once again it is successful and you can see it right here this is the block id and transaction index crypto prince 100k token has been deployed here you will see your deployed contract which is crypto prince 100k whatever name you give yours is going to appear right here there is something else we need to do which is to transfer some of our tokens to our wallet address for us to do that we have to click on our contract and scroll down to find transfer which is this very one here so click on this here you're going to enter a wallet address make sure it's the same wallet address you're using to interact right now and the next thing is for you to enter the amount of tokens you want to transfer now any amount you want to transfer you make sure that you enter 20 zeros for example let's say we want to transfer 200 of these tokens that we just created you enter 2 and you type 0 into 20 look at that i just typed 0 into 20 this means i want to transfer 200 of crypto prince 100k tokens i hope you understand that so we click on transact again there is a transfer pending and you have to confirm that in your metamax confirm this in your wallet here we go we have successfully transferred 200 crypto prince token to our wallet address and next we head straight to our contract address which is right here and copy out this contract address after copying the contract address you go back to the Tyco bridge which is this very one and now you're going to add your token which you just created on remix.ethereum.org by clicking on this you will see the add custom click on it and paste in the contract address of your token right here and click on add hope you are following this carefully okay so we have added our token successfully and we have a balance of 10,000 cp1 now we have to bridge some to the itfel network i'm going to bridge about 2000 of cp1 token click on approve token next and approve transaction sent to approve tokens transfer tokens transfer approved successfully now click on bridge go ahead and confirm this in your metamax Transaction completed, your funds have been successfully claimed on Grims Vaulting L2. Okay, take a look. You see that our balance has reduced to 8,000 from 10,000. All right, I really hope you're following these steps carefully. The next and final thing we have to do is to head straight to Galaxy and claim our Tyco points. So far, I've been able to amass about 2,677 
points. Okay, when we scroll down, you will see that I've claimed these other points already for you. If this is your first time, you just have to come here and do the social task and claim your points. I already claimed this. This one has ended. Same with this. These I have claimed and this I have also claimed. Now, this is a trust bonus which has to do with your humanity. You said that you have a 21 plus Gitcoin passport score or you are a Galaxy passport holder, whichever you'll be able to claim the 2,500 points. This is very important. This is the same thing that Linear did during the Linear voyage. We were able to claim 2,500 points, which already helped us to be able to claim one of the best NFTs from linear so make sure you get this 2500 points okay guys this is exactly what you need to do for Tycho alpha 4 i hope you follow the steps and you like this video why not smash the like button and share this video everywhere if you're here to subscribe do that right now thank you so much for watching i'll definitely see you in my next one don't forget we are gonna make it bye